Hello everybody, welcome back to BDMI Gaming. I'm Virgil and this is Risen Evil Part 11. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to get up to 11. I thought it was going to be done faster than this, but... Oh well. Let's uh, continue on our uh, quest to survive. And to get out of this freaky mansion. I'm not worried about the ink ribbons right now because I get those any time. But the thing is now we... We have to go and uh, go back to the... Uh, what was it? The courtyard. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Controller decided just want to go forward. I think there's only one dog left out here. Yeah, because I ran by it after I killed the other two. Okay. Uh, let me think. I think I go across here. And help. Uh, don't get bit! God dang it. Okay, I, I'm not poisoned. As long as I'm not poisoned. Controller, start working. Seriously. Before I die from poison. Okay, I don't know if there are dogs right here right now. And there are. <sighs> Dang it! I was hoping to sneak past them. Okay. Boom!
Oh, there were two. Oh! That sound good. That sound painful. Okay, I think they're gone. There we go. And now we go back here. And I think I gotta shoot another dog. Dang it. Yeah, I do. Problem is, I can't see where it's at. Probably gonna want. Oh, no. Found it. Got it. I need more shotgun shells. I'm only saying that because I like using the shotgun. And now we don't have to go through the snakes ever again. It was just like the lighter. Didn't want to work for me. Ah, screw you snakes. I don't have to deal with you ever again. Biting me and stuff. Yeah, I think all the dogs are gone. Huh. Huh, that's a fountain? I never really checked, I just assumed it was just a pillar that broke. One thing I really need to do. Get rid of this crank because I don't need it ever again. There. You're gone. I don't think I need anything, but before I do anything, I'm going to get this. Ink ribbon. Add it to my stash of ink ribbons. Okay, this shouldn't take long. It should probably take about 10 minutes. That's if I do everything right. Maybe. Oh, good. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it even. I, I rather have the bullets stay even like the handgun. I don't reload until the end. Shotgun, same thing. Even though it's going to change anyways. Why well, find more ammo for it? And I don't think I need to deal with that. Go over here. I thought I saw something shiny. I did. I'll take it. Okay. I hope I do not. Uh, okay. Enrico, 
Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Um, well. Uh... Enrico! Why, Enrico? Why did you point your gun at me? Yeah, he's holding a gun. I would have went for the gun. Anything? Nope. Hold on. Nope. I guess that's that's it. I got a feeling something's gonna come. Hi. Hi again. Your power level is at eight thousand nine hundred ninety-nine point nine. But this shotgun's power level is over 9,000! So yeah, I think I won. Oh, I thought I heard Hunter. Yeah, I'll take that. And I pressed the wrong button again. Okay, this might take longer than what I thought. And I did not see this coming. Hi! Your power level's too weak for my saying shotgun. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, I just watched Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so it's kind of stuck on my head. One thing I want to know, how the heck did Enrico get down here? Seriously, how? Just like the lighter. You just want to be a dick. I don't need that. I just realized where I'm at, I think. Yep. Yep. I just realized where I was at. I'm gonna save. Just because I got a feeling I'm going to die. Come on, save. Save. Yes, I want to save. It didn't take this long to save. Okay. Doesn't take that long to save. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm gonna die. 
It's just a hunch. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, I didn't die. Okay, I said that too uh, early. For a second there, I thought I did die. <laughs> okay, good. I want that. I need that. Hold on, I want to do something real quick. So beautiful, look at it. I don't understand how it really works, like with the A and B canisters, but all I know is it shoots fire. And I can't do anything, I just stand there. Hello! Oh no, did I get poisoned? Yes, I did. Dang it. I just... Oh no. Okay, I'll... T <laughs> I didn't think that was going to do anything to him, but... <laughs> I'll take it. That was awesome. Killed a giant spider. Come in. Kill a hunter. And I need the... Let's go with this one. Okay, I think I'll be fine. I wonder though, since I place that flamethrower back, does it refuel? Nope. It's no good to me. I wonder though, who put the flamethrower there? Oh, don't tell me there's another spider. Wanna get rid of it? Get rid of it! Faster! Faster, Chris! Faster! Okay, let's go. No, I got ha. Ah. I just realized I can't keep the knife because I gotta drop it. I gotta go all the way back. Ah, let's just uh, hurry up and no. I'm just gonna go drop it off real quick. Dang it! But how in the heck did a survival knife get there as well? One thing I want to know: how in the heck? Why is there ammo just randomly just placed? Throughout this, just throughout, literally everywhere, this mansion somehow 
is connected with. There's random stuff, just a flamethrower. Shotgun, that's understandable, but shotgun shells, literally, it's like everywhere. And handgun ammo, everywhere. It's like, uh, why is this even here? And then the survival knife. How in the heck do you get in a room full of spiders? Especially giant spiders. The gigantic Godzilla spider. Ah, dang it. I uh, don't. Oh, good. I was gonna be pedoed if I had to get that back. I don't know what we have done. We have locked it. Huh? I'm curious now. I wonder what it's gonna do. Ha ha! Stupid boulder. I think there's just a. Uh, yep, mad kid. I don't need it. Don't need it. What would really suck right now if the crank just broke? And that controller, how dare you controller? Stop it. I thank you for turning me. I wanted to do that. Okay, now let's uh, get rid of the crank. But, yeah, it's, a, it's that time again. I got in the part, the episode, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. You can call it any of those three. So, this was uh, Resident Evil Part 11. Uh, so far we just found this random cave and, uh, just went into it, found Enrico, he tried to kill us, but he got shot, not by me, not by you, but some mysterious man, or woman, or animal.
I doubt it's an animal. But still, Enrico died. Very, very sad. Wonder how Enrico got in here because, well, there was a waterfall in the entrance. Or was there another way into this place? He might have went through there. But still, that was fun, especially the flamethrower. And finding a survival knife with the spiders. Okay, I'm going to call it here. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.